The 2015 general elections have come and gone, with national peace and unity the ultimate victor. But one year after an insidious attack on hundreds of Chibok families, and by extension the national conscience, some observers express shock that, in their estimation, a noble protest movement had been overtaken by political aspirants and opportunists ahead of an election. The trained army. That hoodlums will overpower the trained army. Is it possible? The army have tried by all means to make sure that they eradicate this Boko Haram issue. But where are those guys? With initial public statements questioning the veracity of the actual kidnapping itself, some citizens expressed skepticism that the incident took place at all, despite video evidence to the contrary. Most people still believe that the girls were not kidnapped. While several unfulfilled promises and failed negotiations by authorities concerning the girls' rescue has exasperated concerned Nigerians, some cannot be convinced that there is not a link between this just concluded election season and the persisting absence of 219 Nigerian girls. Now, Tibok gets issue. They can use it to run down the, the activities or the, the regime of uh, Jonathan. One year after the brazen theft of innocence on a scale unknown to recent memory, the plight of 219 Nigerian girls still wreaks havoc on the moral imagination of the world. And as any details of any operational resolution remain needfully confidential, the nation and indeed the world can only wait and hope. Ajuri Ngilale. AIT News, Abuja.